Well, we've got poodles outside with us again today. We'll see how noisy they are. <clears throat> ah, let's see. We have a pumpkin. It's not the one you saw last time. That one died right after this one formed. So, um, pretty, pretty big. So, there we go. Ah, I put them there. There's my hand. Of course, I'm having a hard time here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, well, it's it's big. <laughs> it's about the size of a cantaloupe. Uh, and that's the only one. This is the mystery plant that came up from a uh, jack-o'-lantern that I threw in this area last fall. And uh, I don't see anything else here. Look at the size of that flower. Wow. Here's my hand. So, uh, yeah, these are doing really well over here. I'm letting them crawl over the grass. Hopefully kill this grass, which is mostly weeds, and then I'll I'll put some um, grass seed down from uh, what is it? Something Meadows, American Meadows. They have this low-growing grass. It's just deep green, very very beautiful. So uh, got a sort of double double thing going on here. We got the pumpkins growing and pumpkins killing the grass. <laughs> I'll be right back. Now yesterday we had we were surrounded by tornadoes at one point, but uh, we didn't have any violent weather here. But we had very heavy rain, which was great because we've been in a drought all summer. And uh, in one night, the cucumbers sprang up. Let's see how big they got here. I'm going to have to go today and buy something to treat them with because they do have a a disease on the leaves but other than that they're doing really really well and this is like one day's growth right in front of you here it's like a good 10 inches of growth in one day hopefully we'll have some cucumbers this summer last summer was a disaster and uh, it was because a, of a uh, sunflower that came up in front of the uh, cucumbers and I didn't have the heart to get rid of it so it, cucumbers really need sun and the sunflower took all the sun so we didn't get anything last year um, this is super steak and super steak is doing well got one two we got more than that Three, there's the big one. That's the first one that formed. There we go. Yeah, my battery's all of a sudden freaking out. This camera, the batteries, you have two batteries, which is nice, but they wear down almost instantly. Um, let's see here. We got three Galahads, and we had our sunflower garden starting up there. Very nice found out with this camera, and I just made that mistake again, you can't really get a close-up by just getting close to the object. You have to use the gizmo on the camera that's, that zooms in. There we go. There's some sunflowers, and we'll try zooming in on a tomato. Yeah. Well, that's still not that clear. Okay. Well, you get the idea. Okay. So, what else have we got? We have uh, Melrose peppers are funny because these are Melrose peppers. There's a lot on the plant here. They grow straight up. <laughs> Can you see them there? 
Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom. Yeah, they grow straight up. And, uh... Hi, Rosie. Hi, Rose. She's leaving. She doesn't like cameras. This is giant Marconi, and this grows like your ordinary pepper, hanging down. And over here we have German Queen. <coughs> there we go. German Queen. Growing nicely. Got several of those. I'm going to have enough for the, uh, the food pantry, I think, this year. Last year I barely had enough. So, uh, yeah. We'll take a look at the, uh, the pumpkins I planted in a moment. And there's Lily among the pumpkins. Hi, Lily! Lily! She's leaving. Uh, okay, this is jack-o'-lantern. We've been getting a ton of male flowers from jack-o'-lantern, and um, I'm just now seeing some female flowers, but of course I can't find it right now. But uh, jack-o'-lantern appears to be doing pretty well. There is Corvette. Uh, there's a lot of male flowers. These are, are jack-o'-lanterns, a regular pumpkin um, that vines out. And Corvette is what's called a bush pumpkin or a, a short vine pumpkin. And they flower differently. Um, what you're going to see in, in one of these is a huge cluster of flowers at the base of the plant with jack-o'-lantern a little bit further from the base. Um, right now we only have male flowers and none of them are open yet. So, yeah, we'll, if I can zoom in on that. You can see what's going on there. But those are all male flowers, so not good. Little behind schedule. And, th oh, there. That is the jack-o'-lantern baby pumpkin. Probably going to get dropped. Uh, that's what they usually do with the first pumpkin that forms, but it's promising. We're getting, we're getting female flowers now on jack-o'-lantern. And we got lots of bees on the catnip, which is normal. Um, this over here is Duchess pumpkin. Duchess is also a short vine pumpkin. Uh, lots of male flowers down in the base. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, no female flowers yet. So I won't panic for a couple of weeks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's our pumpkin garden right now. With Rosie in the middle. And in the back somewhere we have got little Miss Lily. After all that rain yesterday, the ponds are very, very murky. That's the one with the, uh, the filter in it. And uh, I'm trying to grow um, uh, cattails here, and they are finally starting to sprout. There's a little one there in the front, and there's a bigger one over there. Um, I have two different cattails planted here. Um, the ones in the back here are the taller ones that are growing in the other pond, and the ones here are the shorter ones that are growing in this pond. Uh, I'm not real fond of the shorter ones, <laughs> there, um, but uh, I was just desperate to sprout some new catnip, catnip. <laughs> cattails without um, sending away for new cattail plants because they're expensive. Uh, there used to be a, a nursery around here that would sell miniature cattails, but uh, they no longer sell them. 
so I have to either order them online or try to sprout them myself. And I'm trying to get the cattail itself on the screen for you. Let's put my hand there. There it is. Let's see if I can zoom in. Well, the zoom isn't doing very good. Yeah, that's a that's a, a teeny tiny miniature. It's only a little over an inch long. And uh, over here, this is the cattail from the taller cattails. These are two to four feet tall. Right there. Beautiful. That one's about hmm, two and a half inches. So uh, that's about as big as those get. And uh, this pond is murky too because of all the rain. That'll settle down. And uh, these little ones over here get about a foot and a half to two feet tall. Um, I, the reason I buy miniature cattails is you don't want wild cattails in your backyard, usually, unless you have a huge backyard and a huge pond. Um, they will take over the world. <laughs> they are six to eight feet tall, very invasive. These are can be invasive as well, but uh, they're smaller and easier to handle. Like I said, these are two to four feet, and these are about a foot and a half to two feet. So that's our big garden tour for today. Uh, I will see you next week, hopefully with more pumpkins.